Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got a bit of a sore throat. Um, I am back with a special guest. This is my baby. Hello. Hi. You okay? So I had him a month ago, so I thought it'd be the perfect time to just do a one month update and just let you guys know how the last month has gone. So I am planning on doing a labour and delivery story. I just don't know when I'm going to get around to doing it. Yes, so the baby is five weeks old today. Um, so he turned one month on Saturday. Um, but he's a really good baby. He's really like self-content most of the time. He is exclusively breastfed and breastfeeding has gone really well. He's gained loads of weight from it. When he was born, he was eight pounds, one ounce and we had him weighed um, five days after that and he'd lost 20 grams which is completely fine and then I had him weighed a week after that and he had gained 300 grams when he was born he was completely fine but 24 hours after the birth he developed um, a little bit of jaundice and he's still slightly jaundiced now but it's like a lot better it's just inside his eye when like when he developed it it was like just on his face like it was nowhere on his body uh then a week after that it just went to like around his eyes and now it's just in his eyes i have been giving him some vitamin d uh, i think i've got it here actually the bounty pack that you're giving at the hospital uh there was this little but there was like 13 drops or something like that. Um, yeah, 15 drops. So it didn't last very long. This one, you give them one a day. And it was really, really good. Like, I really liked it. But I couldn't find it anywhere. It said that you could find it in Boots and in um, Hollands and Barrett's, I think. But I went in both of them and they didn't have this brand. So I just got the Holland and Barrett's brand. And it's just this one. Yeah, you can see it. Uh, it's completely safe to use from like newborn. You can use it from, it's for 0 to 12 months. And for 0 to 6 months, you do 3 drops per day. And 6 to 12 months, you do 5 drops per day. Uh, so I just tend to put it on a clean finger and just give it to him like that or I'll put it on his dummy But they've definitely helped like I said the jaundice is just in his eyes now. Okay sleeping So he sleeps quite good I don't like saying that too much just because I feel like I'm going to jinx myself when he was born slept all night he went sleep at 12 and he woke up at 8 in the morning and i was so happy oh my goodness let this be happening tomorrow night at home but when we went home he woke up himself every three hours and he's still doing that now so he wakes up every three hours throughout the night and he'll go like sometimes he'll go like four hours i do have like a bit of a a nighttime routine it's not like solid because he is only one month old let me put this down but i try to stick to it as well as i can and uh, he's quite settled throughout um so i think that's it with like the baby stuff so a little bit about me postpartum i've healed really nicely i've lost most of like my tummy my like my belly like the big bulge um i don't it's not there anymore the linea negra is still slightly there but it's not as prominent as it was like the first week or the second week however i didn't get much stretch marks during my pregnancy which was really like amazing for me because i got tons of my first pregnancy but i'm getting them now like after the pregnancy which is absolutely insane because i just kind of gave up on it um i've got a couple on my leg and on the back of my lower leg which is just really annoying i am rubbing some 
<laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so tired. Oh, I want to go to sleep. So I have suffered with a bit of backache this time round. I don't know if it's because of the epidural or if it's from holding him or what it could be. I'm not too like I'm not 100% sure. But it does really hurt. It hurts where the epidural went in, like it like right on that spot. It just really hurts. When the anesthesiologist was putting it in, he couldn't get like a clear um like a clear way so he had to like poke it in a few times uh and he poked it in the same spot a couple of times as well so when they took it out there was a blood clot like just above the skin and like for the first week it was super painful to the point where i couldn't sleep on my back because like it would hurt to just press on it and I couldn't sleep on my belly because like my breasts were like big from like the milk so I had to sleep on my side but I was so tired it like that didn't even matter like I could have slept standing up so that wasn't an issue but it was just the pain but I think that's it and yes yeah, so I can't believe he's one month old I feel like it's gone really quick and yet really slow. Don't know how to explain it, but like, I can't believe he's one month old, but I can't remember like not having him. Like, it doesn't feel like I've only just had him for a month. <sighs> I'm tired. I'm really tired. I should be sleeping because he's sleeping, but I can't sleep during the day. I don't know if anybody else is like that, but I can't just like, have a nap with him like i don't know i wish i could but like i feel like when he's sleeping i have to like tidy up and like do things and cook and i'm tired today he woke up at five and he didn't go back to sleep and then i had to take my daughter to school at seven so yeah anyways Thank you so much for watching i'm sort of i'm sorry for being so rumbly i haven't filmed in like six weeks so it's been a while uh i hope you have a lovely day and until my next video i'll see you guys